Rocky and Bullwinkle, and friends. No, Bullwinkle, I can glide down, but you need a parachute. I knew I was forgetting something. Moose has got to be saved. Here, take mine. Wouldn't think of it. Take it. I insist. Well, thanks. Come on, Bullwinkle. You're sure you don't need it? No, no, we got lots of others that I just threw overboard. Oh, Boris, why didn't you become violinist like Mama wanted? And while our heroes floated earthward, the plane bearing Boris sank lower and lower. And finally came to rest on a tall tree. The tree was already occupied. Oh, there you are, darling. I thought you'd never get here. Me too. Hello up there. You all right, Ace? Certainly. We always land this way. It saves wear and tear on the wheels. Once upon a time, there was a little tailor. The reason was that being so small, he was constantly being picked on. When he ate his lunch, even the flies ganged up on him. Seven at once. Stop that buzzing. I can't even hear myself eat. But the flies kept on buzzing until the little tailor could stand it no more. And, <clears throat> of course, that was the end of his lunch. But the buzzing had stopped. Listen. It's quiet. I got him. Seven with one blow. Not bad for a shrimp. Good evening, dear husband. Ah, I see we have a guest. Yes, my love. How nice. A gentleman, I propose a toast to your health. Without raising suspicion, we managed to empty our glasses in a nearby plant. A nearby dead plant. <laughs>